she will be seven this month. Hmm. Well, she came at 12 weeks old. A little bit independent. Uh, she won't sit on my knee. She sits beside me on the settee. Uh, she comes to bed with me every night, uh, has a little cuddle and then shoots outside and comes and wakens me with her paw maybe twice in the night to say hello. And uh, half past nine one night, Peaches had gone out and then half past nine I heard this awful, horrible crying. Really a weird howl. And she was trying to get through the back cat flap, which she did. But all her back end, it was horrible. And it was a pelvic girdle that was cracked, I think, in three places. So it was either a major op or caged for, I think, six weeks. So you say, do whatever you can. And um, it was horrible. It really was horrible to see her. She couldn't stand up. Um, but we went every day to see her and uh, and it seemed like an eternity at the time that she wasn't sort of getting better. And then the next time she was x-rayed, it was beginning to knit and um, they thought she could come home. Uh, so brought a great big cage for in the kitchen, which she wouldn't, her own cage at the vet was only small. And she kept going on at trying to get on her hind legs and that terrified me. So I let her out and rang and said, I can't keep her, I can't watch her. Forgot that she was out, the door opened and she vanished. I can't walk very fast. I thought she'll go to the corner, she wouldn't dare go beyond, but she did. James put pictures, we all put pictures everywhere and rang all the vets and and I don't know whether it was three nights or four nights. And you know how you just have an instinct. So off I went and I was calling her quietly and quietly and she answered me. The first house up the hill round the corner on Haler Grove, Crescent, whatever. And she came behind an iron gate and I just... But she still wouldn't let me pick her up. It was just wonderful to have her back again. And uh, from then on, it was progress. And then this night I got hold of her tail and it was all wet and yuck. Her tail had been damaged. So we started going for dressings for the tail. Every other day, every three days. We struggled with that. I would say a couple of months. She started pulling the dressings off. She knew how to get them off. And, oh, it was just raw meat. James shaved it to see if it would heal better. And it was about that much of just raw, it was awful. So the decision had to come. And uh, she lost her tail. So she'd been through all the other, and then we none of us never noticed her tail. Little Meg groomed her every day, but it must have just started weeping, you know. And So it's been a horrible, horrible experience, but in another way, it makes you see what wonderful people there are in the world, because those girls have just been absolutely beyond anything you could. Weekends, they came Saturday afternoon tea time, Saturday afternoon 11. Sunday, four times, she was on medication four times a day. Can you imagine? Who else would do that? So there's no, no way that you can say thank you. Only with a, with a cake. I couldn't, I couldn't give them anything else, could I? Um, no, I'm envious because uh, not to a silly degree, but I wish I had that knack that they have because they just have, don't they? And then she went through a grumpy stage and 
Oh, is she in that mood today? <laughs> no. So it's like a little person, isn't it, really? So that's peaches.